So wait for me to find out, wait for me to figure out how to open this bloody thing, because I can't remember. Uh, message. <laughs> I'm being stupid. Not what I meant to do. Why? What? This is not funny. Mm. It's not letting me open up the chat for you. Mm. Got it. Uh, I need, uh, you did send the invite, right? Yeah. It didn't go through. It's not... What? It's not giving me the option to join the game. It's just going, you've been invited to the planet craft, and it's not letting me join. No, 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 it's not... It's not... Yeah, I, hit the, I hit the wrong button! Give me two seconds! Fred, he said give him four hours. Accidentally clipped through the world. And now you fall to your death. <laughs> no, this is solid ground here. I think it clipped right back out. Alright. Should I just gotten like fucking coke or something like that? Huh? Oh. Two super alloys. Oh, this is finally melted. Oh, nope. Not fully, but partially. Ah. 
How much did this need? I think this was the thing that needed like 32. Yes. Oh god, we still have to get it so high up. Greater mapping. Yay. Yeah. You ready to get teleported, Yuma? Twenty-five. G there better be something really good in that in that cave, Yuma. Hello. There better be something really good in that cave. Yeah. Wanna know why? We get the bloody teleporter before we can go in there. Pretty much. What's in that cave that's so important that you would need a teleporter first? I don't remember. We have quite a few resources now. Okay. We're going at the TF three or immediately use the TF four. Uh huh. Rocket. TF four. What the fuck happened to the screen? What? The blueprint screen is gone. <clears throat> I don't know. Sounds like we're getting a, uh, media storm. Mm. That's what it sounded like. 
I want to put together some, some resources for some rockets. I'm going to um go get pulsar crystals. Mm -hmm. Because we need to stop building those up so we can make... We don't need the nuclear generators anymore, do we? Once we have enough. Oh, thanks all. Because pulsar crystals literally just equals... Reactors that we can use. Mm. Oh, see, spreader rockets are a little bit annoying. Same with okay. plan. It's over halfway gone. Yeah, you can basically just phase through that thing now, Yuma. We're not even halfway done with insects either, are we? We're at 40%. Almost halfway. And that's going to take a while because we can't really up that properly right now without until we get the other stuff higher. Just some more plant stuff going. True. I want the tree fact, thing so badly. In fact, that's what the rockets we should work on right now. Yeah. I'm getting pulsar crystals so I can make more energy generators. What was it? It was five pull, pull, five pull generator, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many do you think we'll need? Um, this is why I wanted to keep all the warmer seeds that we got. The warmer seeds? Lorma. Oh. Most basic seed. Yeah, we can time the flowers into them. What is Blazar Quartz used for? Um, mainly some stuff later on. What happens if you dismantle it? <laughs> Alright. That's all good now. Let's run out of oxygen. We need to make sure we check the um, Biodome 2 inventory consistently. Okay. Because I need a fuck ton of tree bark. Ugh. Yeah, I know I'm actually in level below. I did it on purpose, game. 
Now the question is, how long will this planet last? Mm. We terraformed it, but you know what mm. I mean. Mm -hmm. Where do I put the other two tree bark? Did we use the other tree bark? Oh, it's right there. I'm a fucking idiot. Aren't we all? I need one more mutagen and two bacteria samples. Okay, bye. I crashed. samples. I'm making another generator. We might have a good selection of power, but don't the, uh, ne like the next few items take a shit ton? I think cartridge and salt. Hello? Hi there. I can hear you. I'm not gonna hear you because Discord didn't want me to. Huh? I can hear you because Discord didn't want me to. I'm having a weird craving for fucking double cheeseburgers lately. I'm gonna try cripples. Or try what the one person that orders that orders where I walk does. Mm -hmm. A quadruple whopper. That sounds awesome. With everything, extra everything. Awesome. We have we have this one guy who comes in and orders for two junior whoppers and he wants them made a messy. Mm. His words, exactly. I want them messy. Uh, I kind of understand the the quadruple whopper with extra everything on it, though. Because that that's a lot of protein. That's a lot of sodium, but it's also a lot of protein plus the extra veg and everything. With um, you know, like half the amount of carbs. Yeah. So okay. the dude is fucking smoking. Oh. Is that the seed spreader? I think that was the plant. Oxygen. Mm. To sum it up, it gives oxygen, right? No, that was the plant one. That gives biomass. That gives plant. Not biomass, it gives plants. Well, I'm going to try and p walk on pushing our oxygen up.
How much super alloy can I use before we have trouble? As much as you want now. Break down the rods if you really need to. I just put them together so that we have space in the chest. Alright. Because I'm going to, going to be switching yeah. out. Technically, we can get we can just get rid of this thing. Uh -huh. We can technically get rid of the wa atmospheric water per generator. <clears throat> yeah, but I still like it, like having it there because it's just extra water production, and uh, I need a lot of water. Fair enough. Do we have fertilizer? Some, yeah. This is the oxygen multiplier. What the fuck? I thought I grabbed two rockets. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, but if we want some of the other lo unlocks, we need plants to be going up too. That's true, which is, I'm trying to up oxygen so we can get the tree spreader. That's what I'm working on. And I can shoot off three more rockets as well, technically. And I'm working on, uh, tier three flower spreaders. Mm. Ah. Oh, tasty. Uh, okay. You got Seed the rockets. Spreader. You... Seed spreader? Yeah, that's the one that inc increases oxygen. Oh, oh, I thought you said I was using a seed spreader for a second. My brain just kind of failed. Increases moss spread, gives global uh, global generation bonus to spreading bacteria from outer space. It's my plant multiplier. Gives a global generation bonus to spreading seeds from outer space. Oxygen multiplier. Yeah. I shot off two of each of those. So. And I got two TS3 with the uh, golden seed in it. And that is now going up a lot faster. It's still going to take a while since it's PPM. And we're only at 304, 310 PPB. But we're generating 391,000. PPQs per second. Why does it say that? Oh yeah, on the screen. That's the tier two tree spreader. Actually, it won't be worth it if I just just. Uh, will it actually be worth it? One sixty one, one sixty one. What's 161 plus 160? What's 161 times 2? Three hundred and forty-two. Wait, 161 plus 161. I'm just seeing if it would be worth it if I just just uh, disassembled one of these and made a sod uh, TF3 flower spreader. Three hundred twenty-two. There we go. Because the main thing with flower spreader is I need fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Which I'm forgetting how easy it is to make that. Okay, these also increase how many plants we're getting too. Good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, so it would be worth it if I disabled the two of them just for the plants alone, wouldn't it? 
Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to Producing 5,000 grams a second for plants now. It's gonna be a bit more in a second. I must be being stupid, that was the wrong one. around for now. Uh, I'm switching some of the seeds out, Yuma. That, well, maybe. Well, oxygen's up to... What's it? 288,000 PPQs. Nice. We're up pretty rapidly now. Alright. Uh, I switched out the, the mushrooms, two of the mushrooms with eggplants. I need them for fertilizer. Um, uh, by the way, if you bring some of these flower spreaders closer together, you know, I think you said you made tier threes, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you bring them closer together, um... Wherever ones are tier threes, I can't actually tell. Most of them. Um, at least five in an area. We can make a um, machine optimizer and throw in a. What is your problem, dog? A, a plant multiplier or an oxygen multiplier. I'm trying to eat my noodles and play Minecraft with my boyfriend. Shut up. I mean, we could also make two. They're not hard to make. No, we just have to, no. They're not hard to make, but I have to wait on the uh. You know. The fertilizer. Two uranium rods, two explosive powders per. Four explosive powders, four iron, four cobalt. Yeah. So we could just make the. Two opt machine optimizers for those five. Drop in an oxygen multiplier and a plant multiplier into those. And be shaking with it. I'm gonna drop in nuggets before I run upstairs. Uh, one, two, three, four. We, yeah, we have four of them in an area right now. I ju I'm just waiting on fertilizer for a fifth one. Uh, don't forget to check tree bark. I'll be right back myself.
I'm back.
Yes. I'll be back.
I thought you were doing tier three flower spreaders. Oh, those are tier twos. Never mind. Took on it with me because she didn't do anything. You're gonna get slapped on her. Oh, you're gonna get slapped if you don't stop sniffing her. Mm. Girl. I hope the cat does smack her. Oh, That'd be she's funny. Sniffing, uh, Lily's butt. She's like, I'm gonna laugh if she slaps you. She put her ball up and not back away. Son of a bitch. I'm here, you fat piece of funky water. Get your butt in that crate. An oxygen multiplier on the first one. Hello. Welcome back. We have the, uh, what's it called now? Uh, incubator. Sweet. Where do you want it built? Uh, nowhere at the moment because I want to get the better butterfly dome first. Okay. Golden seed. Golden seed, golden seed, golden seed. You know what? I'm grabbing the one from inside the base that's sitting in this fucking tier 2 veggie tube that we don't need anymore. Those are some. There's nothing inside. Thank you. Oh, we do, ha we do have five. We have so many flowers. There's so much gold. Covering all of them. Yeah. Was that a rocket or was that a? There's a meteor coming. I was wondering what that was. I think it's an osmium. Yeah, from the color and they hit the dome. It was a big one. Yeah, it is. 
Well, maybe we can check with this one and see what it actually is. Uh, this one, I, I, this one's, obs it's obsidian. And you, right? And obsidian and sulfur. Osmium. No, all three. Obsidian, sulfur, and osmium are all in that. That one just landed on our flower spreaders. Good thing there's no destruction in this game. I know, alright. Otherwise, I don't think we'd have a base anymore. Yeah. Be right back. Singing so bad they wouldn't copyright strike it. Fuck off. Burn the cobalt. Uranium. Two explosive powders. Lagging hard. That's understandable. Like, really fucking hard. Holy shit, tits. Yes, Maggie. You're not getting any. What is making my fucking frames just tank? My stream? Oh wait, wrong side of the internet. I think we'd be good to actually remove the nuclear generators when we need, when you when you feel like it's a good idea. Yeah. We have two thousand four hundred and nineteen kilowatts of available power. What? I'm just getting confused. I'm just checking something. Okay, I think I need to save and restart the game. Alright, go for it. Maybe. Let's see if it helps if these fucking rocks clear up. What is tanking my performance? Google again? Google's definitely using fucking a lot! Google's using fucking 12% of my total CPU. And it's using fucking 3600 megabytes of memory. How much? 3600 gigabytes. Megabytes, not gigabytes. Yeah, I would have to say, gigabytes? But Jacob, it's using like fucking three gigabytes worth of memory right now. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to restart the game. I think. Let's close out Steam and Buff as well. Oh, my performance is starting to come back. Maybe not. Cannot possibly be the flowers tanking. Oh, no, there it goes. It fixed itself. The fucking rocks from the meteor was lagging out the game. Wow. Uh, I think it's because it landed, they landed on the fucking uh, flower spreaders and it was causing some kind of weird issue. Yeah, I got the other Cure 2 Flower Spreader set up. Rare Larva, hello. <clears throat> There's a couple Osmium on the ground. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is just a mutation one. So yeah, we need to unlock the beehive. Get the and get a bee larva. That's gonna take a while though, isn't it? Uh the beehive unlocks at eighty tons of plants. Yeah, we're at twenty two point fifty right now. It's going up at a decent rate, but it's gonna take a while. I mean, once we get to fifteen kilograms of insects. We can unlock high quality food and that'll be very useful. Yeah, but we have to get the insects fast. Mm-hmm. 
Once we get into animals and we get 10 KT of animals, we get to unlock the tier 4 jetpack. Yes. Uh, at 35 tons of biomass, we get the tier 2 food grower. That's going to be really handy. The tier 4 food grower. Tier 4 food grower. One sec. We unlocked the first tree spreader at 45 tons. It actually won't take us long to get to. We'll probably be at that in like an hour, if that. Like, we're getting 0.1 tons every half second. Or 0.01 tons every half second. Tier 5 heater and 6 spreader rocket. Tier 5 drill. Tier 5 drill unlocks it. <laughs> 23 kilotons. It's the end of the days of the end of the ways of the man by the zoo. These, uh, will these sandstorms ever stop? Yuma. Mm -hmm. Will they ever stop? I don't know. Come on, I want 25 GTI now! Oh, okay. I guess we can start to increase some stuff with that, for that. That's why I was we trying... going oh, pretty well now. We Open have... 06 PPM. We have... Well, the best way to up GTI right now would be plants, right? Let's work on our heat. That would be that's easy then. Okay, so for a tier four heater, we need three super alloys, two iridium rods, and an explosive power powder. I have two iridium rods on me for some forsaken reason. Three super alloys. How many super alloys do we have? Actually, have quite a few. If I just do this, where are you going? I was emptying some stuff. Not you. The super alloy just kind of spit across the base. Oh. Well, I have everything I need to make one except an explosive powder. It's two explosive powders. Really? Can you go empty the sulfur miner? Oh, uh, I'm looking at the tier 4 It's only one, isn't it? Well, we're making two, but... No, oh, oh yeah. I was thinking of uranium or iridium rods. We need several explosive powders, so... I want to build five at minimum. All right, how much iridium do we have? Iridium rods, right? Two. Two. It's two. Three. Four. Five. We have plenty of ir iridium rods to make five. Well, I'm asking how much iridium we have. Regular iridium? I need two. it for the... Yeah, I need it for the explosive powder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, there's still eight iridium rods that you can just break down. All right, I'll get the explosive power made. I'll make one of the generators. One. Of... Hey, Jacob, where do we put the golden larvae? They're over. Uh, we put them in two separate areas, but they're both in the other area. You have one in here, next in the flowers chest area. This one, and I put the other one in the other. And I didn't know where you put them, and I put mine in here. Okay, just want to make sure. Yeah, we're not crazy. Well. Alright. I'm going to make the uh, explosive powder fire. So, we just want to continue with the heat, heat things on the base, considering it's the best area for them right now. Hello? And
trying to remember how you use the fucking golden larvae. <laughs> I think it's a butterfly. <laughs> what were we doing? Uh, yeah. I ha I can make one. Want me to just put it next to the other two? Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Five. Yuma. Hang on. Uh, what do you mean, other two? Remember, I made two tier 4 heaters a while back and just put them on top of the base. Oh. Right, right. Uh. No. Uh, we need to make a platform for him. I so do not have inventory them. space right now. I will do it. So you can already make one, right? Yes, I have the materials. If I do a quick adjustment, I can probably make two. Okay. We have the overflow chest still upstairs, right? Uh, you think so? Yeah. Because I have a lot of magnesium. Need more sulfur. Uh, how much you need? Because I have two on me. Four. Well, here's the two for now. Did you empty out the sulfur miner back That's here? That's all I got. I need to empty the miner out completely, completely, because I didn't go over with the thing. But that's all I got from what I got over there. But yeah, so I got si a, I got we, six actually. Technically, it's just I already used it, so you know. We need to put a tier two or extractor back here so we get it more commonly. More works, a little more sulfur. Extractor, good job, Yuma. Yeah, fucking moron. I ate those cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets. You know, a lot of fucking food there. Three double cheeseburgers, ten piece nugget, and I'm still hungry. Hey, look! Hello? Yep, tier Wait. 2 food grower. A water bottle, a super alloy, and a fertilizer. That's not even horrible. Okay. Yeah, we'll get these heaters up and then we'll work on a new, on the, the tier four, on the right. tier four miners. So we can also up our pressure. Then we get the tier three ore extractors, which means we can mine osmium and all the other good crap. Alright. Alright, I got everything to make two. I just need the platform now. Uh, okay. Let me go get the sulfur. You gotta. Uh, I said I'd build out the platform because I know where, where, where I want it. There's gonna be another sulfur in here. You're shitting me. Seriously.
It's the last one of the season. Huh? I said it must be the last one of the season. Yeah. I found a piece of ice. I found a piece of ice just laying on the ground. You found ice? A single ice. Yep. I find I I only know one area where ice could spawn, and it's not anywhere near the base. Uh, I'm sure it's one that's been there since we started the world. Huh? Because yeah, there's only one spot where ice can spawn, and that's over by the waterfall area. That that's why I said it must be the last one of the season. You know, ice age. Dandelion. A dandelion must be the last one in this season. Yeah. Yep. Becoming like a literal fucking god. It cracks me up that, but he fucking, he goes to bury it again, and he looks at it, he's like, you know what, fucking fuck it, eats, and then eats it. Climb, you bitch. God damn it. At this point, I might as well just roll a cigarette and let myself fucking die. This is an Osmium Cave, if I remember correctly. Where is this? Osmium cave. The Oleg cave is over there. They're just a little resource intensive. There is your tree spreader. Make sure we transfer the other two over here.
Yeah, before you go getting into actually getting the stuff for the fertilizer and the bioplastic, let's make the tier two tr the tier two food growers. Over here. The the other I want the other heater right here. Mm-hmm. So put put them all into range properly. Okay. Uh, my two explosive powders. Uranium rod. Two iron, cobalt. Oh, what am I doing? No, I'll keep these here. That produces plenty of heat. Um. How many? Eight. Start with... One, two, three, four, five. We have... Why do we have six tier three heaters? Or tier four heaters. We only need five. thing for that. Mm-hmm. Yep. covers all five of them this is now each one of these is producing 3.23 nk per second and 42.60 npa per second with pressure oh well we ended up with six so i just used one Uh, we'll get rid of one of the old ones and put the new one in. <clears throat> put this explosive powder over here for now. Um, what's our power setting at? Still have 2200. Yeah, well, I haven't gotten rid of the regular nuclear reactors yet because that's that's a thousand extra kilowatts of power so we are now producing 363,000 pks per second of heat and our pressure is up to 124,538 MPAs per second. I want to get the pressure up. Uh, heat's actually not too far off from us getting the Tier 2 Optimizer. So, 
Uh, go ahead. Aluminum. Mm-hmm. Tells me I'm in a silicon. Okay. <clears throat> so we currently have two of each of our rockets up. Help. I'll be go unlocking the water filter soon. <clears throat> I see your freaking thingy, babe. All right, Gigi, we gotta get off.
No. Jacob. I'm back. Okay, this is going to take a while to sequence. Three of what? Water filter. Fucking finally. sulfur. Seventy eight percent. Yeah, the tier twos are almost double the growth speed. Okay, you can stop coming now. Oh, 
more mushroom, a silicon, and a water bottle. Yeah. I'm assuming so. Okay. Okay. Mm, that was Vault 69. And yes. Oh no, 99 men and one woman? Yeah, that was Vault 68. Because Vault 69 was uh, 99 women and one man. Yep. 
I can't remember. They were using the vaults for any and every experiment that they could possibly think of, and they were able to do it through their vaults because they initiated the Great War. Uh, all the vault description are actually across several different types of media. From comics to books to games to just a whole bunch of different shit. Uh, the uh, fucking, um, uh, oh fuck, what's his name? Uh, hang on. That was Fallout 3. Gary. Gary. Um. What? Gary? No. Uh, so. So that vault is actually kind of interesting. They gave the patrons of it unlimited access to the cloning machine. So they started out with one guy named Gary. Well, Gary clone could only say Gary. Uh, they continued to clone him, but with each iteration of the clone, Gary, the Garys, became more and more violent. It inevitably ended up with the Garys cloning themselves over and over and over and over again, killing all the pa other people in the vault and taking it over. It's fucking wild. It's actually in, uh, that's, that's a vault in, uh, Fallout 3. Uh, no? Not that I remember. Oh, you farming location, as in for XP. Uh, I mean, it does give a decent bit of XP, but the Garys don't respawn. Not that I remember, at least. Uh, there's actually quite a few references to the Garys in later games like there is a pretty definitive uh reference to gary in fallout new vegas in fallout 4 there's a container that you can get into it's either a container or back of a truck that in the back the block there's a blocks that say gary and i believe there's one in fallout 76 well jacob come outside come outside formation's almost up to larva Look. Past the miners. These are beehive. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. We keep easier too. We could get back and forth, back through here easier too. Now we go over and get fucking our super alloy and aluminum easier now. Oh, that's awesome! Our insects are almost done. That means we'll start finding larvae around the map a lot more commonly and uh, butterflies and other insects will start spawning around
Oh, I came out and I looked. I was like, ah! Oh! Yeah, the atrium vault. Um, badly, really, really badly. So, essentially, the social experiment—it was a social experiment, wherein every year, uh, one person of the vault would have to be sacrificed. Um, well, the vault dwellers weren't very happy about that so the, for the first sacrifice they actually sacrificed the overseer and then from that point on they elected somebody else another vault dweller to be the overseer so they would be the sacrifice eventually it came down to i believe it was four people left in the entire vault and to basically just end the cycle they they all killed themselves they killed each other um Uh, it, when you go in, there's, there's nobody there, uh, and you can actually go into the sacrifice room, and if you just decide not to do the sacrifice, it pops up that, congratulations, you, basically, congratulations, you've won, the vault door is now open, you can explore freely, and so on and so forth. The whole experiment was for the people not to fucking sacrifice somebody. Mm-hmm. What fallout? New Vegas is a lot of fun, but it's... Why can't I build this? Oh, we gotta play as your own water surface. Fallout New Vegas had the robots. Oh, you're talking about the synths. Uh, that's Fallout 4. Uh, no. Ah, so, Vault 118 was actually, is from the DLC of, uh, Vault, of Fallout 4 and uh, Far Harbor. So, a bunch of rich people, to be, a bunch of rich people had uh, Vault Tech build them a vault inside the Cliffside Hotel. Um, well, eventually they decided to remove their brains and put them into robo brains robo brains are a uh not vault tech a general uh, electronics or whatever the fuck it was uh experiment um the, it's basically taking human brains placing it into a robot for maximum processing capacity essentially they lobotomize them and then place the brains inside the robo brains uh, well, these people decided to forgo the lobotomizing, obviously, and play, get their brains placed inside robo-brains. Um, so they can essentially live forever. They're, all of them are well over 200 years old at the events of Fallout 4. 
Um, the the overseer is obviously no longer alive, but all the r- original residents, all these preppy rich cunts, are now robo brains. And the whole the whole storyline behind the hotel for when you actually go there is a straight up murder mystery. It's actually really super cool, and I think is easily one of the coolest quests in the entirety of the Fallout canon. Come here, by the way. Come outside. Oh, okay. Vault 111? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Vault 111 is the vault you start Fallout 4 in. I can't keep the vault straight in my brain. There's a lot of vaults. Um, vault 111 is the one you start the uh, Fallout 4 in. Uh, essentially just an experiment to cryogenically freeze everybody. There's actually a theory that um, that the protagonist of Fallout 4 uh, Nate is actually a synth created by father, his the protagonist's son, um, to just see how a synth would react. It was what insects? Uh, amphibians, I think, or fish. Look at. Oh, is it uh, atmosphere? Yeah, breathable atmosphere. Cool. Hang on. Check something. Uh, we're at 92 tons biomass. Yeah, it's 8.30 kilotons for that. The plants are pretty high. That means we got the beehive unlocked. So we need to build that and get a, a bee larva. Yep. I'm going to figure out how to... I need to get the bee larva, which means I need to get the incubator... Still have a tier two fertilizer left. Uh, over here. By the water. Um, no, turn around. Look at where I'm flying. Tree spreader. With a, with a pleum, a pleum tree seed. That's what the pleum tree seed is. That requires us, Jacob. That's fucking ridiculous for these. That's 116 grams of uh, plants per second. And and 3.86 PPT per second of fucking oxygen. Mm-hmm. Uh, what uh, have you looked at the puppet vault? Watch. No, 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 no. Look up a video about the puppet vault. You need to watch the fucking video of it because it's fucking insane. All right. Um. Oh, I forgot. Um. Uh, the fucking puppet vault is fucking psychotic. Yeah, that one. That one was kind of fucked too. Uh, 
so that experiment was actually to they pretty much every addict had almost fully recovered um so full recovery of all, all these addicts addicts uh and then a plant somebody they Walter planted a person in there who would release the drugs uh, by opening up a um, why can't I close this? Uh, opening up the, the secret room um, and they just see pretty much how uncommon mutagen and fertilizer god damn it um, pretty much just see what the fuck would happen Common mutagen fertilizer. Common mutagen fertilizer. Common mutagen fertilizer. Golden. Oh, we got the trade space rocket! I'm gonna make the message screen while you get the rocket. Where did we unlock the trade space rocket from? We've had that for a while. No, that just unlocked. Oh, trade space? I think that was, uh... No, it's none of those. I don't know how you we unlock that. I'm gonna go look that up then, because that that's weird. Uh, common larvae is not craftable, so we need to go find our uncommon larvae. Plants are going up very fast now. That's an old... That's old. I I don't know, Yuma. They might have changed it with the update. Larry reaches 25% of the way to breathable atmosphere stage. Messages are sent from Riley. Oh, wait. That has been, that has been unlocked. The following. We are definitely not at 25%. We really should set up this fucking message thing. Iron, silicon, magnesium. Can you go set up the satellite? Which, uh, the satellite? Yes, the satellite. The transmissions communication antenna. Oh, oh, that. Uh, titanium silicon. Can I just put on, want me to just put it on top of the base? Yeah. We also unlocked a tier two optimizer. All right, now I'm going to make the message screen. If you haven't already, you already did. Let's see. This trade space rocket is super duper 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 important though. Super alloy rod, rocket engine, uranium rod. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aluminum. Yeah. 
I don't know where. Is there like a third screen we're forgetting about that has the items? I don't know. I don't think so. How the I hell think it just kind of unlocked on its own. I think we hit the, the point where it unlocks and it just did so. <sighs> Everything's going up so fast at least. At least decently fast now. And it's all halted basically on my screen. It might just be glitched though. Uh, the only thing going up decently is biomass. But we are at very, very, very high levels for everything. So, I will go look at the puppet vault now, because I just found Vault 77, and its description is literally just that line. Yep. Populated by one man and a crate of puppets. Yeah, I can see where that goes. Okay. So, we get cow seeds, wheat seeds, the common cooking station. Uh... Use this in blueprint screen to unlock a new blueprint. Smart fabric, customizable sofa, customizable bed, uh, all the multiplier fuses. Um, a new Rosia tree seed, which is yeah, the Rosia tree seed is our highest one with a six hundred percent oxygen multiplier. Uh, Ema, it wasn't a hundred men and one guy or a hundred women and one guy. Okay. It was a thousand. Oh, yeah. That makes it worse. Tier 2 locker storage! <laughs> yes! Production multiplier fuse. Production time divide. Generation time for machines that generate items. That's fucking insane. The 3x3 three three living compartment. We can finally get fucking drones. How do we unlock the first tier drones? I found it, Yuma. I found Vault 43. Okay. Populated by 20 men, 10 women, and 1 panther. Yeah. I'm guessing the panther did not survive. Okay, so 78 GTI to unlock our first thing of drones. So, we need to, like, make stuff to trade stuff. We are going to want the cooking station. We're going to end up wanting the Valeria butterfly larva eventually. The Rosia tree seed. Velkia uh, fish eggs. And Kenja froglet eggs. Tier 2 locker storage, I think it's the first thing we should really be going for. We can also get an energy multiplier fuse, which increases power multiplier by 150%. But that's that's 6,000 tokens, that's a lot. Why, why do I find it funny that the secret vault was in Texas? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, what? The secret vault was in Texas. Why do I find that funny? Hmm. Moving compartment with gnome. 
Oh, my neck again. My neck. Tier 2 locker. That's what we want. Tier 2 locker storage. My oxygen super low. So... We're a ways off from that. Jacob. Huh. Do you remember where the ancient city area is? The the the, the one where we had to get the five warden keys? What do we need? I need you to look for uncommon larva there. You're gonna have to give me like two minutes to prep. I need to believe some water. Alright. I'll go check. Is that the only place it spawns? Uh, they can spawn in other areas, but that's gonna be like the most reliable place to find them right now. We got a new message. This is real cool. Your planet specifications. Identification unnamed. Wait, is this a, uh, Yeah. Ownership unclaimed. Corporation ownership unclaimed. Habitual habitability level null. Sector Isil Prime. Is toll Prime. History unknown. Planet unnamed. It's located in Israel Prime Sector, a free civilization sector. Crossed mostly by trade ships traveling between big spaceports. The sector has 842 planets, 1,300, 500, 1,300, 13, 1,500, 11 stars, and is 7,000 parsecs wide. The planet has been identified as a possible candidate for future colonization. I'm gonna see if these golden effigies are worth any type of tokens. Yeah, we have a lot of them. Oh, I also want to check. Where are they? There they are. Cause we what only really need one for each one of each for design choice. Huh? We only need what one of each of. Each design, at least, if we want to make a little model thing. Yeah, technically. But I'm not really worried about that, to be honest with you. Super alloy rods, iridium rods, and osmiums.
Come on, Jacob. Seriously. What? Stuff stuff in the fucking last chest at the top again. When do we have clearly marked chests? We didn't have room when I was putting stuff in there. We had plenty of room for osmium and cobalt. Plus, we had the other extra chest, like the magnesium that was in the last one, with a magnesium chest three chests away. Uh, give me a second. I can't remember where the city was. You know, the super lush jungly area? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get there right now. I'm looking for- I just have to look for the freaking arch arches, don't I? Yep. I'm gonna go check the super alloy miner or extract or whatever. Uh, and then go set up a fucking ore extractor for osmium. Does that sound like a good idea? Oh, okay. I'm in the area, not the ta not. The <laughs> okay, I'm almost there. I'm just being stupid. Hello? Mm-hmm. My main problem is I'm just trying to find the door now because I can't remember what the hell it was. Alright. That is not the door to it. Oh wait, oh wait, down here. You think it'd be easy for me to find this thing? What? No, it's not. Found it. Good job. Larva or little tiny regulate thing, worm things on the ground. I actually think I saw one while we were here earlier before we even got the insects. 
Yeah, they can spawn inside the ancient city areas. Before we hit uh, insects. Which is so incredibly odd to me. Yeah. They're in stasis. They've been here for thousands of years trying to ha trying to survive. Uh, so we... Ooh, we can actually find golden larvae laying on the ground here too. Oh. For lucky enough. Did you hear what the voice actor for Sung Jin Woo was doing? No. So, people are looking at him like, don't you dare mess up the iconic line of our eyes. The English voice actor just started making fucking... He's like, I can do whatever I want. I can make it this or this or this. Yeah, fucking funny as shit. Wakey wakey. Morning. Come back. Come back. Your debt's still, still a thing. What well, wasn't one of them get up, bitch? Uh, I don't think it ended with the last one, but... Close. I found a serene, a serene one. I need an uncommon. Yeah, I just... I remember him making those jokes. And I'm just like... Move! Jacob! I don't fucking... I, I ran out of oxygen in there because you want to move your ass. On, I just need a single bug. So annoying that I can't fly here. I just find it funny that the voice act is just like, I will do this if you test me enough. Mm -hmm. Even though the dubbing people won't let him. Yuma, I'm having that problem. Finally! Mm -hmm. I got one. Mm -hmm. Do we need more than one? Not for the moment. I'm asking because... Um, if you find more than one, then I'd appreciate it, but... I'm staying here until my oxygen runs out. Cause then I'll just uh, teleport back. Yeah, they're you they're one of the base materials for mutating uh, other insects. Because while I was looking for one, I found three serene, a golden Yep. And the common. Okay, we got an Osmium Oryx Reactor going. Yay. 
Because honestly, once I'm done searching, I am probably might be heading to bed. I'm getting kind of tired. Weakling. You have no excuse. You're the one that has to get up all of me half the time. No. The fuck you mean? You get up at like 5 a.m. When do you get up on a weekend? When do I get up on a weekend? Sunday, specifically. <laughs> Noon? Um, hey, Jacob. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be mad. What did you find? On my way back from placing the ore extractor for the Osmium. You found larvae, I found, you? I found an uncommon larvae. I'm so tempted just to drop this golden lava <laughs> into the lava now. Do it, bitch. I'll just fucking mutate another one. Along with the common and the serene and everything else I have. Dismantle all the heaters. Dismantle all the oxygen things. Okay. Uh, larvae. B. Uh, an uncommon larvae, mutagen, and fertilizer. Oh no, can only be crafted in an incubator. Oh, it's only a chance. Damn, that kind of sucks. Grab this rare. Yeah, no, I actually, I do need that larvae. Um, apparently it is only a chance. Huh? It's only a chance to get the one that I need. Algae in the water. Oh. Tasty. Well, excuse me, princess. Stop. Why? Why? Because I just because I said it once doesn't mean you need to repeat it for the rest of the fucking time. Like it's some kind of inside joke. It is Stop. now. It is now. Stop! God damn it! Nope, princess. <laughs> Call me fucking princess again, motherfucker. I'm gonna shove a fuck. I'm gonna shove my fist up your ass. Princess. I have will a, kill you. Have a fun drive. Zelda. You'll never see this world again, motherfucker. Oh, we just unlocked the butterfly dome. Yay! Uh, tier 2 fertilizer, fertilizer, tree bark, zeolite, super alloys. Uh, where'd you put the larvae? I still have it on me. Alright. They're all going in a chest right mm -hmm. now. Particularly there with the other golden larvae. Sulfur. I only have one sulfur. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'm heading off. Mutagen. Methane, Later, everyone.